up? Uh, my Australian rock and roll favorites? Yeah. From oh, back shit. Back then and right now? Uh, back then. Uh, I'm a big fan of ACDC for sure, like the greats. Yeah. Definitely. Um, Good sign for a drummer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's not too uh, egocentric. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, bands now? Fuck, that's a really hard question. Stiff Richards? Stiff Richards are good. We actually, um, we just played with them at Ashen uh, ah, cool. at a festival, but we missed them because we were driving on the way oh, okay. here to play this. But and um, the chats? The chats? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're good. Really nice guys. Yeah, Eamon's awesome dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alien Nose Job are actually really good as well. They're, um, they're, I think they're touring at the moment. Um, but yeah, I think we missed like most of their dates because they're not colliding, but yeah. So are you more a uh, Saints or more a Radio Birdman guy? Fuck. Uh, personally, I'd probably be the Saints. They just got more hits. Same with me. Yeah. Same with me. Hell they yeah. They have a little bit more soul, both have great songs. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I just heard your songs and uh, uh, when we uh, drove here, and I really like them. Uh, how important is it for you to have a, like a pop edge? Like the songs are very melodic. Um, I mean, I feel like that's probably a question you'd have to ask Kel, who's a singer. Uh, I just drum in a live band, but okay. um, for the songs to have a pop edge, I think to Kel would be really important. Um, I think Kel basically likes to write songs that are more like fun and less serious like that's the whole point of gt i guess it's like music that's just um easy to listen to very catchy um and i think that's just the way Kel writes his music in general you know like his his method is very like uh i mean from what i know is very um uh it's always in uh forward motion you know like he's always making more songs all the time and then throwing out songs like it, I, like from what I know when he was making the uh, the new album that just came out um, uh, he, he had like all these songs that were like in the backlog that uh, like all of us as a, band, as a band thought were really good but he just like chucked them out and kept like moving forward um, but yeah I think that's just the way Kel writes so. okay I said it's a very short interview, last questions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. Um, somebody said to me, hey, uh, really, very close to playing Richard. You know him? Yes, and, yeah. Uh, is that a compliment or you feel... Oh, a compliment for sure, yeah. He's definitely one of our favorites for sure. Um, a lot of people have said that uh, 1-800-Mikey's album sort of sounded like Jay Retard, but I think definitely one of our influences for sure, yeah. And definitely for Kel as well, like... We've been big fans for a long time, so, yeah. Okay, last question, right yeah. now. I'm going to film a few songs. Which are your favorite songs of the yeah. best ones? <laughs> um, Which song my I should film? Song? Which song you should film? Yeah, you can introduce it right now. But please tell me where that is on the set. Fuck, I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm the worst person to ask for this because I never remember the song names. <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> so is it the one with the offbeat? Uh... Fuck, I'm just gonna just please everyone and say Commando, that should be the one you film.